What's up guys, Dylan here, and welcome back to day five of Advent of Code. Um, if you like this video and find it helpful, please leave a like and um, leave any questions or comments down below. So let's get into it. All right, so day five here we have, um, let's see, uh, we dropped our boarding pass and we're not sure which seat is ours and the flight attendants are busy. So we're gonna write a quick program Binary space partitioning to okay, so we're gonna get a string F means front B means back left right Okay, so it looks like Okay, so we're gonna start with our row it could possibly be 0 through 127 and if we read an F then that means that we will be the lower half, so then 0 to 63. So I guess then if we were to read a B, we'd be from 64 to 27. So it looks like this is just a binary search. Um, and this is could kind of be regarded as a almost like a binary code, a, a binary string. And so we're going to determine which row R is. So we're going to get down to just two numbers like that, and we're going to and then the column, so the place along the row, it's going to be zero, 0 through 7, same sort of deal here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take our input. And I'm going to drop that into input.py. And um, that should actually be silly me. That should be input.txt input txt and so if we start here let's go ahead and say with open um, input 5 txt as file and we'll say data is equal to file dot read lines and get rid of the new line characters data is equal to line dot strip for line in file so if we go ahead and print our data here um, we have an error input 5.txt and what the heck is going on for line in data okay and if we print that out, okay, so here we can see each of our strings. So for the first one here, uh, we're gonna go back half, back half. So we're gonna take the upper half, the upper half of that, the lower half of that. And uh, and you can see here, so for example, we go from zero to 127, we take the lower half, zero to 63. And we take the upper half of that, so 32 to 63 the lower half of that, 32 to 47. So basically, we're each time we get a new range, we're gonna cut it in half and then take either the upper half or the lower half of that. So I think what we can do here is we can say for passport in data. So we'll check each passport and we'll say pass for now. Let's write a function to get the row. So uh, we're gonna write def get row of passport and we'll say our upper bound or our lower bound lower is equal to zero and upper is equal to 127 and then four um, and each time we're going to take in uh, one two three four five six seven Okay, so we're gonna say for i in range seven, we're gonna read through the first six characters and then the last one will tell us which number to return. So for i in range seven, this will give us zero through six. Um, we are actually, I think we wanna go in range six because we want we want to look at the first six and then we can uh, use the seventh one to know which one to return. So we're gonna say if I, um, let's pull this up here. If passport, if passport I 
is equal to um, front. So we're going to take the lower half. Then we are going to, well, let's, let's first divide it in half. So we'll say half is equal to, we can just take the average and divide it by two. So upper plus lower divided by two. So then our new, so basically we're gonna take the front half. So then upper, instead of being 127, will now be equal to half. And so for example, zero plus 127 is 127 divided by two is 63. And you can see here that is the lower half. So um, else, um, passport, I is equal to B for back. I think we're going to take half plus one. So then that, so if it were B and we wanted to take the back half, uh, then we'd set the lower equal to half plus one because then that would essentially make it. So now we're 64 to 127. So we'll go through that. And then on the very last one, we'll use for I or if passport um, seven or six, because we want the last one of seven digits is equal to F. So we want the lower of the two numbers, return lower, else return upper. Okay, good, and we'll, real quickly, we will um, get the column as well. So following the same logic here, um, for the passport, upper is equal to, or, oh, well, okay, upper is equal to seven, lower is equal to um, eight, and that makes sense because we have three choices, so two to three is equal to eight, which is our range here. And for i in range uh, would be two this time. If passport i is equal to left, this would be like taking the lower and we'll divide it in half as well. So half um, is still equal to upper plus lower divided by two. So if we want to take the lower, then lower, or if we want to take the left side, which is the last other side, then now lower bound is going to be equal to half. Else if passport i is equal to the right side, we'll take half plus one. Um, upper is equal to half plus one. And I think I actually have these backwards because we want to now, because we want to modify, we want to keep the lower bound the same and keep the, and modify the upper bound if we are taking the lower half. And if we're taking the upper half, we'd keep the upper bound the same and modify the lower. So there we go. And then um, if passport, um, it would be two this time because we want the last of three characters is equal to left return lower else return upper and i can see here move that back with a quick shift tab and we'll move that out of the loop even. Okay, back to two levels. Okay, and okay, so there we go. So that should be returning the correct upper and lower, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. So then we'll say row is equal to get row of passport. And we wanna take uh, up to the first seven characters. Um, so we're just looking at the F's and B's because uh, it does tell us here the first seven are F's and B's and then the last three are uh, R's and L's. And then the column is equal to get column 
passport, and this time we'll just take from uh, the seventh to the end. So seven colon, and then ID um, because down here um, we'll consider the whole thing. So we'll get our rows and columns, and then the the unique ID is going to equal uh, row times eight plus column. So row times eight plus column. So ID is equal to row times eight plus column. And we are going to look at the highest ID. Okay, so then we'll say largest is equal to zero. And if ID is greater than largest, then largest is equal to ID. And then we can print largest. And if we run that, we have a syntax error. Of course, what else would you expect? I forgot a colon. And we always get that stupid advertisement, run that again. And another syntax error, the same kind. And we get 933, and I will also not print the data anymore. All right, so we got 933. Let's try it out. And there we go, there's our answer for part one. So then you say, oh, it's a short one. Time to find our seat. It's a completely full flight, so your seat should be the only missing boarding pass in the list. So, it looks like we're, uh, however, there's a catch. Some of the seats at the front and the back of the plane don't exist, so they'll be missing from your list. Your seat wasn't at the very end or the very front, so. Okay, so our seat's guaranteed to be in the middle of the list, and it looks like, I think if I'm not mistaken, what they're saying here is that there's going to be some number that's in the list and then some number that's not in the list and then the number after that is in the list. So there's a gap of one. So I think we have to find the number that would be in the gap of one or the missing number. So the first thing that I think we need to do is say get our IDs and we'll make that to an empty list. And then we can say, well, we can actually just uh, replace this line, I think, because we can say IDs.append ID. And then if we return the max of the IDs, what's wrong with that there? Of course, we need some parentheses on that. We still get 933. Um, okay. So, so now let's just, so now we need to go through the IDs and so, okay, so for ID in IDs, if, so if the one after it is not in IDs, but, uh, the one after that is IDs plus two is in ID. So that's basically saying ID is in the list. The one after ID is not, but then the one after that is. So ID plus one is the missing one in the gap. Then we will say uh, missing is equal to ID plus one. And then that might be it. Print missing. What's going on here? Oh, right here. ID plus two. And run that again. 711. So this should be the missing number. And let's see if indeed it is. There we go. Uh, there's the missing answer. Um, so... Uh, there was day five of Advent and Code. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and I'll see you back tomorrow for day six.